Hello Capricorns. Thank you for joining me Tootsie here at Snake Lady Tarot. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. I'm doing your general energy reading. Take a look at your energy, the energy around you and see if we can um, offer some advice um, or some messages for you about the next few days or so. Um, maybe you're not a Capricorn. Maybe you have Capricorn in your birth chart. Maybe you're in a relationship, in love, or just interested in Capricorn energy. Nevertheless, cross watchers are welcome as well. Thank you for your support also. Only take what resonates you guys. Leave what doesn't behind. Leave it for someone else. Don't force a square into a circle. Do not force the energy. Feel free to switch the roles. All right, maybe I'm reading the person around you, a friend, a family member, someone close to you. Um, and gender roles do not apply. Advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Advice for Capricorn. Messages. Messages. Advice for Capricorn. Let go. Patience. Break free. All right, letting go, patience, and break free. The future, bottom of the deck. All right, that is informational. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. So um, with the future in mind, there are things you need to have patience with, things that you're letting go and breaking free of, okay? Advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Advice for Capricorn. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. All right, don't hold on to pain. Don't hold on to grief. Let go. Let go, break free. Let go, break free. All right, let go and break free there. Advice for Capricorn. Earth energy. What does Capricorn need to know? Advice for Capricorn. Messages, advice for Capricorn. Messages, advice for Capricorn. I am the dreamer of my dream. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Authentic truth. Okay. All right. I'll give you one more oracle, then we'll pull some tarot for you, Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? That's his advice. Advice for Capricorn. What is Capricorn? No. Abundance is near. Alright, 
family concerns, hidden emotions. All right. Important conversations about family concerns, separations, all right? Causes fear and anxiety, hidden emotions, causes running in the relationships, running in your life, love, and balance in between. Abundance is near. Keep dreaming. Be your authentic self. Have patience. Let go of things that don't benefit you. If something needs to be freed from you, um, if something is needing space, just give it patience. Let go. Let go. Let go of worries. Let their absence bless you. Let their love bless you. Love comes in all forms. Blessings come in all forms. Advice for Capricorn. Star seed. Karma. Peace. Miracles, sing, transformation. Yeah, definitely don't block your blessings holding on to things that don't benefit you, things that aren't serving you any longer. Um, you definitely want to be able to move forward. for Capricorn what does Capricorn need to know advice for Capricorn Bottom of the deck, three pentacles. Advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know here? Let's take a look. All right, Capricorn, four of wands in your personality. Um, generally, you're a committed person. You are a partner. You're a karmic partner. So it's hard to let go. It's hard to break free. I understand the lack of patience here. Um, four of wands is marriage proposal, agreement, commitment, contract, um, togetherness. It's a union. It's your general personality. That's just your energy. In your, <clears throat> in your memory, 
placement, we have the Six of Pentacles. So you're reflecting back on when you shared, when you provided, when you were um, generous with love, with gifts, with material things, with money. Um, you were generous, you were sharing, you were caring, you were providing. And your mental inclination, what's weighing heavy on your mind? King of Wands energy. Um, I feel as though you're very nostalgic, but you're being strong about it. You're not letting up. You're not letting it show. And you're in the mood here, Nine of Pentacles. For abundance, you're in the mood to reflect. You're in the, in the mood for abundance. Um, we have abundance here. Abundance is near. Okay. We have miracles and star seed. Peace and transformation. Lovely energy. Let go of negative energy. Break free from that. Move forward. Stay positive. Nine of Pentacles energy. Know that abundance is coming in. Know that you are the dream. <laughs> you are the dreamer of your dream. And, and being in your authentic truth is the most attractive energy there is. Ten of Pentacles weighing heavy on your heart matters. You are, you are, it's on your mind. It's on your, your heart. It's in your soul, this abundance. You're living it. You're loving it. And it's coming forth. Abundance is near. Knight of Cups for your health. This is your spiritual, mental health, your um, physical health. Forward action, forward general, <clears throat> forward genuine action. All right. You're making generous offers. You're putting forth generous effort, genuine effort in wanting to better your health physically, spiritually, mentally. The people around you, Capricorn, the people around you, we have the moon energy. This is Pisces energy, something you're not aware of, something you don't see in the daytime, something you don't see in the light. Um, you don't know something about someone in your society, your community, your family, friends, circle, um, However, this may resonate with you, but there's something unknown to you. Eight of Cups energy, what's ending for you? It's walking away, realizing what benefits you, letting go what doesn't. You may be breaking free. Maybe you realize you need to break free. And I feel as though this is moving forward for you. It's moving forward from you. Let go of what doesn't benefit you. Make room for what does. We have the star, spiritual tendencies. This is what benefits you. We have the full for your work. This is what benefits you. Let go of what's not benefiting you. You are having abundance with work. You're having abundance spiritually. You are enlightened. You are balanced. Your world is changing. It may prove difficult for you. You just need to provide some patience. Um, allow yourself the patience. Move forward. Move forward. Don't look back. Move forward. All right. Move forward. Let's go ahead and um, clarify some things for you, get you some more advice. Advice for Capricorn. Let's clarify here. Four of Wands in your personality. Maybe you're breaking free from someone you wanted to marry, someone you wanted a proposal from, someone you have this relationship from. Maybe there's a separation there. That's why there are family concerns over here and hidden emotions, fear and anxiety. Maybe there's a divorce happening here. Maybe there's a passing. Um, so we have hello from heaven. So perhaps somebody has passed and you miss them, Capricorn, and you're not able to let them go or move forward in life. You're, you're, you're clutching on to this energy. There's a change in perception here. Um, four of Wands, you, you are, you're hoping for a new offer, a new offer of love, an offer of genuine love, care, um, just a connection. It could be in marriage. It could be in love. It could just be in friendship um, because you're not letting go of a, of a past pain, of, of a past energy. 
you realize the change of perception is what's needed here with the hangman, also Pisces energy. You realize this. You're very intuitive here, Capricorn, um, but you're not able to do so. You're just in your King of Wands energy, faking it until you make it, putting on your armor, putting on your toughness like armor. All right, five of wands, five of staves with regards to your king of wands, faking it till you making it versus your nine of pentacles, what you're really truly in the mood for abundance. So you're fighting with yourself. You're blocking your blessings instead of being true to yourself and your authentic self, then it's a struggle. You're having a hard time moving on. And to be honest, you want change and you're in, and it's time to do that change. Put forth the effort for the abundance. Nine of pentacles, let go of the Four of Wands energy, um, wanting that energy. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, heart matters and your health. So many choices, so many options to focus on, but you're very abundant here. You are focused. You are focused. We have the Knight of Cups and the Moon. The Moon and the Eight of Cups. Seven Swords. So somebody's not honest with you, Pisces. Uh, Cap <laughs> Goodness gracious, Capricorn. Somebody's not honest with you. Um, I have Seven of Swords over the Moon, which is Pisces energy. All right. Um, it's dishonesty. It's thievery. It's not transparent. It's keeping secrets. And if you walk away from this person, you let this person go. Abundance. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. If you let it go, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Seven Wands between the Star and the Fool. Don't block your blessings. Don't block your own blessings here, okay? Don't block your own blessings. Fighting yourself, arguing with yourself, as I said. Be open, be honest, be your true authentic self. Have patience with yourself. Let go of this energy that's not serving you anymore. Make room for what is this Ten of Pentacles that you want. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. All right, the star, the fool, the energy is here, the world. The energy is here for abundance. We have miracles here. We have star seed. All right, abundance is near. Nothing is sexier than your true authentic self. Be that. We have the Five of Swords. Five between the full and two of wands. So between patience and between being your true spirit, your free spirited self and breaking free. We're kind of not choosing it. We're, we're choosing something else. We're not choosing patience. There's so much hidden emotions here. There's worry, anxiety, fear. You're, you're, you may become the runner and that could prove difficult. There can be an ending between your patience and wanting to make choices for what you want your world to be, your environment. You may not choose abundance. You may choose worry, anxiety, fear. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I see. You may choose worry, anxiety, fear. All right. All right, so we're going to take a look at a new beginning for you. <clears throat> Let's say you follow the advice, you let go of this energy, you let go of these people, this person. You break free, you give yourself, you allow yourself the patience to move forward, regain strength, rest, regain your balance, regain your energy, inner strength. You, you don't run away, you don't hide behind your emotions, your fear and anxiety. Have the important conversation about family. Accept. There may be a, a, a separation. Accept it. It may be karma. It may be a transformation that's needed. It may bring forth peace. All right. Advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? If you follow this advice, new beginning. Advice for Capricorn. All 
All right. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. All right. The past experience to leave behind is the Knight of Pentacles. Stagnant information. It's stagnant. It's very little action. Um, it's because it's with regards to action of material things. Um, this is a past experience to let go of. You don't chase material things. Um, you chase genuine energy, genuine love, genuine growth, genuine intelligence. All right. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. This is what's new to you. All right, this is learning, at least learning about the materialisticness, learning about it. All right, having that understanding. And aspects to seek change. Knight of Cups, moving forward towards these genuine, genuine offers, these genuine opportunities of love, of care. <clears throat> Right, these genuine miracles, these genuine peace offerings and changing transformation offerings. All right, things that you want to sing about, not have hidden emotions and fear and anxiety, positive things, dreams, wish fulfillments, goals. All right, let's um, let's get some more advice, advice messages. What does Capricorn need to know for Capricorn? Aquarius, fixed air. Um, maybe something in this reading here refers you to an air sign or Aquarius. Someone has that in their birth chart, perhaps. Open up, seek help, get advice, willpower, strength, determination. soul searching here I would say a little bit of soul searching all right maybe a mental breakthrough um, some new information um, now some of you have love some of you have acceptance as well right you have a good um, love bond relationship connection with someone let's take a look at your energy um, for this coming week for the next couple of days or so all right, Capricorn, advice for the lovers. Capricorn, the lovers. Advice for Capricorn, the lovers. What does Capricorn need to know? Advice for the lovers. Advice for the lovers. What does Capricorn need to know, you guys? What does Capricorn need to know? Let's take a look at your love theme, your challenge, their lesson, your lesson, growth, sex, romance. What's the energy? What's the theme for this week? What's it look like for you? Advice for Capricorn, the lovers. the lovers
All right, Capricorn. <clears throat> Advice for Capricorn. Your love theme, Seven of Cups, it's focus, all right? You can have happiness, love, abundance, savings, work, employment, material things, structure, stability. It's focus, all right? What's the challenge? Nine of Pentacles. Um, divine Feminine Energy. It is arrogance. It is superficial. It is of the materialistic energy. All right. This is going to be a challenge. Eight of Pentacles is your lesson. All right. Eight of Pentacles. You're going to have to find yourself focusing more, working harder. Um, to maintain this abundance, this lifestyle, this choice, this decision. Your person's lesson, Capricorn, is three of wands. Patience, having to wait for their ships to come in. All right. Having to maintain collaboration while maintaining patience. We have the lovers. This is the growth zone. All right. This is the growth zone. Maintain passion for each other. Maintain patience for each other. Have these important conversations. Abundance is near. Peace. Karma. Miracles. Sing with each other. Celebrate each other. And um, we have the emperor for sex and romance. All right. This is your energy. This is fire energy. This is teacher energy. This is instructions provided. Experience intelligence, wisdom, all right, uh, learn something new, teach something new to that nature with each other, all right, <laughs> learn something, teach something here, all right, um, let's get some romance advice, advice for Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know, Advice for the lovers. What do the lovers need to know? It's the Semper energy. Advice for the love, for the romance, for the sex. Advice for the lovers in the group in here. Advice for the lovers. What do the lovers need to know? Advice for Capricorn. Advice for the lovers. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right. Yeah, I feel for some of you, like, um, maybe you lost a spouse. I feel like it's an ancestral type of thing. We have hello from heaven here in the beginning. And I feel like for some of you, that pain is heavy. You haven't let go. Um, doesn't really give me, like, cheating vibes, but perhaps some sort of nostalgia of a sense, not a lustful thing. All right. Advice for Capricorn, Twin Flame, Oracle. Right. Advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Sacred space, altar, prayer, candles, commune with your own divinity. Sacred journey, sacred space. Understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. Yeah, bottom of the deck, material world. 
money, career, status, third dimension. Make your mark. All right. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. Sacred space, sacred journey. Sacred space, sacred journey. Patience, break free, let go. Karma, karma, karma. Sing, celebrate, be proud. Celebrate each other. Some of you have important conversations about family concerns and separations. There's fear, anxiety, hidden emotions. You're running away from your issues, from solving the problems. Blocking your blessings. Abundance is near. Miracles are near. Karma is here. Some of you are running. Seek help. Get advice. Open up. Thor's red, black, gold dragon protects you in times of change. A time of rapid transition and transformation. Relax. You are safe. Black dragon cocoons you so that your divine potential grows. Meditate, reflect, undergo a metamorphosis, a transformation, if you recall. All right. Aquamarine dragon from Neptune enables you to access your deepest, deepest soul's wisdom. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. All right, Capricorn. Mm, let's do one more. Let's do one more from our rebel deck here. Advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know, you guys? Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. Understand your future here, right? Advice for Capricorn. What truly matters, family concerns, love, abundance. Something good is about to happen. Don't let your issues mess it up. Mm. All right. Capricorn, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Tootsie at Snake Lady Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notifications button. You won't miss out on any future readings. Tell a friend, you guys, to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you for being here, you guys. Blessed be.